So let's do. Oh, that purple's cute. Let's too. do one version first where we can do monochromatic with two bold colors. Oh. People always say you can't, if you do bold on the eyes, don't go bold on the lips, but it's a holiday. So yeah, why I not? say no rules. Yeah. No and, rules. And, and, and when you play up with the eyes or the lip, Sometimes what I do is I pick the shade that are similar, like red on red. Then, oh. then it's more monochromatic. Okay. You know, and with your complexion, that would look great. Wow. Or, and then the, the next one, we can do contrasting color, which is also very Studio 54. True. We can do mm. purpley lip and then like a green eyeliner or something like that. Ooh, yes. fun. So, but let's, let's play with this first. That's so fun. How do you wash your makeup brushes? You have like 800 of them. Yeah, I, <laughs> I wash. I have like a whole bunch of them that I, I take turn. Oh, gotcha. That's that smart. That rotate, you know. Oh. That's smart. So And then I made a special holiday powder puff for you. Oh, look at how cute oh. that is. A little accessory. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> it's a little powder puff with a snowflake yeah. on it. Yeah, that's so pretty. Yeah, and, it's, and it's ornament. a blingy snowflake, yeah. Not guys. very practical, but... <laughs> but it's very pretty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, for Instagram, it's got to be pretty. Right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, like you know, sometimes being practical can be a little boring. So, like, it's better to be impractical sometimes. <laughs> Look at that beautiful copper. Yeah. I love that there's sort of, like, no rules anymore when it comes to, like, what you can wear. And, you know, like, with red tone, it looks intimidating in the palette. Mm -hmm. But red is in the same family with brown, right? Like, when you think about it. So, especially with your complexion, I think it, it's, it's going to okay look really gorgeous. Can anybody wear red, do you think? Yeah, there's so many different shades. You can wear red that are more coppery. Yeah. You can wear red. And it depends on where you place it. I think the tricky place to place red is under the eyes because I think that can make oh, it yeah, look a it little... Oh, yeah, it bounces up uh, and you look like you have pink eye. Yeah, you look sick. We don't yeah. want to look sick. <laughs> and I think when it comes to red, you want something that reads like it's red. Like, you don't want, like, a wishy-washy <laughs> color because that's when it's going to look like a bruise. So either uh, it has to be glittery... You go for it. Yeah, you go for it. Don't pick... If, once, if you, once you pick one that look like it you know, broken blood vessel. Right, then right. That's not a good red. So. Right now we have like a ruby slipper moment happening. Yeah, this on is very Gwen's ruby slipper. It's, it's, yeah. pretty? it's very yeah, pretty. It's, it's pretty. And he's putting it's it a like very just different on the look lid with a little and bit. And you know, out. it's not about making it perfect. You know, I think that's why I always love this Studio 54 references. Like, you know, you see like the Andy Warhol Polaroid mm -hmm. with all the stars from that era yeah they always look a little bit it's always swept up into the temple but not yeah. with a clean line or anything yeah yeah <laughs> like and and you can use your finger a lot Turn this way and push it was all a little bit like i put this on and then rolled around and something yeah 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 and, and to me I, I, rolled around and something. yeah yes. something and Some it's white like snow. to me when it's not so perfect that's when it's sexy when i do smoky eyes i always make it perfect first, then I work very hard to make it not perfect. Oh, how mm -hmm. funny. I've been seeing that with what you've been doing with Goo Goo. Yeah. That her smoky eyes, you can see that there's a baseline that goes all into the crease that's perfect, but then yeah. it's like smudged and she looks yeah. so sexy and approachable. Yeah. Because She's so great, that Goo Goo. Uh, Beyond the Lights is still my favorite movie. Aww. <laughs> very sweet too. Mm -hmm. So talented. And she really is talented. And we have fun, you know, six years together, so... Wow. Wow. So you like, did her for Beyond the Lights. Yeah, I did. The first movie press I did with her was her breakout role with e Belle. Yeah, right. It's the same studio. Lupita, Lupita came out first with 12 Years a Slave. And oh that my was God. also Fox's Light. Right. And then I met Google through that studio, too. I forgot about Belle. That so, was yeah, such a big moment for her. Together. And now she's on the morning show with Jennifer Aniston and yeah. Reese Witherspoon. Yep. And that's nominated. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. She plays a lovely drug yeah. addict. So then you can either... <laughs> no you can either... Okay, that looks really cool, Gwen. Is it pretty? Yeah, it is pretty. It looks super and cool. And then, you know, like the thing with, with glitter is, is, is that is, if it fall, mm -hmm. you just clean it up. And uh, Do you have to use a wet brush to clean it up? No. Um, you can use... Office supply, like a clear sticker. I mean, like a <laughs> uh, oh, piece of tape. Yeah, like usually we just. It's a great tip. Glitter, you know, it's yeah. like. Yeah. That's a great tip. You'll find tip. it in your underwear yeah. two weeks yeah. later. Yeah. It's yeah. like it doesn't ever yeah. go. Well, but away. with glitter eyeshadow, the fallout on the cheek is always so sexy. hard. Yeah. I like the tip, Office Max. But also, tape. that's why, like, a lot of 
A lot of the <laughs> new formula that are more gel, like it has gel in it. Mm-hmm. Even the NARS one is a little bit creamy. They're so creamier it now. It doesn't crumble, mm-hmm. you know? Pretty. Right. Or like, see how gorgeous that looks? Ooh, right now he's playing with... That's amazing. And then... So let's go... That is really special. Yeah, yeah. that's so cool. And then, cool. you know, when it comes to... Once the eye is already a statement, then if I do like... If, if I do a true lipstick, it could be a little mush. But that's why gloss are great because you can get color, but without it being chewed, yeah, like opaque, heavy, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. Cause, it won't cause, take over, yeah, because they and that that feel very. You can put too. less on too. Yeah, you can you can put less on too. So let's go with something a little bit brighter. It's all yeah. about balance, right? Because it's like your eyes have the glitter, but it's not a bright red. So we can go bright on the we can go bright on the gloss. Pretty. So that's. You know, so when when those rule when they say play up one thing but not the other, but if you're playing with both, the balance is about you can you can do both, but which one is the leading lady and which one mm. is the supporting? So oh. you kind of have to pick because mm-hmm. I mean they can be. I like be, that reference. Yeah, because they can <laughs> be they can be both jumping out at the same time. Like you want one to be the statement and then you want to support it. Right. So so that's always my, I don't want to call it a rule, but that's always like my key balance when I make a decision. Mm-hmm. So that way it's not competing, you know? So something like this. That lip is bright. And, and Gwen looked great with bright lip. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen her with a neon lip like this. This is going to be fun. Yeah, it's like a neon or red, orangey, corally yeah. situation. Like that, we think because it's a gloss, you know? yeah, right. Because you can just do one or two layers and it doesn't come out, yeah, because it's a gloss, unlike lipstick when you put it on. She there, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she there, not going away. And I love this formula, the Chanel one, it's, it's not sticky because gloss sometimes like you get your hair stuck in it, right? If you're dancing, I hate and that. stuff. that's not a disco queen move, yeah. I don't want it stuck. That's like me on Halloween when I <laughs> wear your wigs, when I wear wigs, and then like, <laughs> who were you this year? This I haven't done one in a while, but there was one year it was Kim Kardashian. Oh, that's uh-huh. fun. And like, you know. And you had the super, super heavy drag queen you guys, contour. This is a yeah. gorgeous lip. <laughs> yeah. It's a gorgeous lip. That might be Gwen's new lip. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. It's yeah. great on you. I love it too. It's yeah. And like, you know, your now blouse is very dance. 70s too. Yes. Great. Into it. So you're into it? I love that. So pretty. Yeah. So that's it. Like just with like cheap products, you can yeah. like and I love with the eye, yeah. it's very dramatic, but yeah. it's just one product. Yeah, I think the key is to pick something super dramatic, but the application is simple. Yeah. Because if I do this and I start shading it and add highlighter right. and filling in your brows and add too much mascara uh-huh. and eyeliner, then then it doesn't look easy anymore. Right. I think I personally... It's clownish. Yeah, like personally, I like, like I said, I like drama, but I like it to feel real yeah you know yeah that's why this era speaks to me a lot yeah you know? 